Hey everyone, today in this video tutorial I am going to start working on a sensor that is MCP9805. So to gain more knowledge about this, go to controleverything.com and search for MCP9805. MCP9805 is a memory module digital temperature sensor. It is used in uh, DIM temperature sensing applications. I will be interfacing with an Arduino Nano today. For that Arduino code is required. So go to resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample. Click on it and you can have this from here like that. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we require and let's proceed further. Coming to the hardware section, first of all we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C sheet. This is available on our website controleverything.com. It is very useful in making connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So gently press over the Arduino Nano over the pins of the I2C sheet like this. Now we require our sensor which is MCP9805 and this is a connecting cable. Make this connection for the connecting cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. Now this is a mini USB cable which we will require to power up our Arduino Nano. Gently insert it over here and these are the connections which we will require later on. Now let's have a look over the code. For the interfacing with the sensor MCP9805 and an Arduino Nano, we require the code. For that, go to github.com and here search for control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Click on it and here type in MCP9805 and this is our sensor and here is our Arduino code. Before going to the Arduino code, please have a look over this. We have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is a link which will help us in installing the software. So please go through it carefully. Now get back to the code and this is our required code. As you can notice first of all we have included wire.h library and the address of our sensor is 0x18. We have initialized serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing part, we have selected configuration register having address 0x01 and selected continuous conversion mode and power up default for 0x00 and 0x00. And here we have written this. Now we have selected resolution register having address 0x08 with a resolution of plus 0.0625 per Celsius and we have written for it 0x03. Now we have our data selection from 0x05 and we have requested and read 2 bytes of data. In the conversion part we have converted the temperature using the formulas described clearly in the data sheet of MCP9805. At the end of the code we have our output in the serial monitor with temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how our code is. Now let's see how it works. Coming to the working section, first of all copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino. Now copy and paste and save this entire code and compile this code. Compilation is done and now upload the code. The uploading is in process. Code uploading is done and now go to the serial monitor where we have temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now when I press my finger, there is a rise in temperature. Again pressing my finger, there is again a change in temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how our code works. Now let's proceed further. We have just seen the working of temperature sensor MCP9805 using an Arduino Nano. This sensor has industry standard 2 wire I2C SM bus interface and memory module temperature check. These features make it useful for ideal sophisticated multi zone temperature monitoring applications like dual in line memory module, which is DIMM, hard disk drives, and other computer peripherals, and many more. This sensor is available on our website controleverything.com 
and the Arduino code is available on this website. You can also have this Arduino code from our GitHub repository, Control Everything Community. In case you have any further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on our community page. For more articles and blogs like these, you can contact us on hexta.io and also on Instructables. For more videos and tutorials, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. And in the end, thanks for watching.